Hi guys, this is Gold Campus. Last time we started working on the game loop and key input. And today we are going to be working on fixing some bugs and implementing the ball class. So let's start. Um, so there's this little bug here. So instead of doing the repaint in the paint component, you can delete this. We need to put it inside the run. So here. Like that. Let's check. Yeah. Like that. Um, so we're going to create a ball class. And we're going impl to implement the ball today. So we're going to create a new class in the main package called ball. And we are going to, first of all, extend rectangle. Now rectangle, rectangle, yeah. Import from java.awt. So this is a class, yeah. Yeah, you guys can read that if you guys need to. So we're gonna create a random, random. The random is going to give us, like, a random direction the ball is going to go um, when we start the game. Then we need an X velocity and a Y velocity. Um, and initial speed is equal to 2. Now let's make this, like, 4. Yeah. Um, so we need the constructor. Public ball in X. Int y, int width, int height. Yeah. So since we're using the rectangle, we can type super x, y, width, height. Yeah. Like that. So here, we're going to use the random now. So we can do random is equal to new random. We're initializing the, the random variable because we didn't initialize it here. And then we do, so we're gonna create an integer, call it random x direction is equal to random. So we're getting this random um, variable. And we're doing that next int two. So this is gonna be zero or one because it starts from zero. So zero, one, it's two values. Um, then we need to do, if random x direction is is equal to zero, I think yeah, zero. We're gonna random x direction minus minus. So I forgot to tell you, yeah, today it's gonna be a this the implementing the ball is gonna be a little bit complicated. Then after this, we do set x direction. random x direction times initial speed. We haven't created this class yet, but we're gonna do it in a second. Then we can copy this and do random y direction. Um, yeah, I forgot to create this. Then set y, y, y. Wait, I'm gonna check if this is correct. Okay, yeah. We can create these two uh, methods. So we're gonna do public void set x direction in random x direction. Then we can copy this and do it here, y, Change this to y and y. Yeah. So we got two. So we're almost done. But we need to do two things. We can copy this x velocity. And we can do is equal to random x direction. This. Yeah. Copy this down. Put it here. And y. Hmm. 
yeah, I think that's it for the ball class. Um. Oh no, we need two more things. We need the move so we can update. So we need to do public void move. So to do this, we're gonna x plus equals um, x velocity, y plus equals y velocity. And then we need to draw public void draw graphics 2d g2 we're gonna do v dot g2 dot set color color dot white we want the rectangle to be white and then we do g fill dot fill rect x y gp dot tile size divided by two you can copy this down here Oh, I forgot to initialize GP. Game panel GP right here. Then we do game panel GP. This dot GP is equal to GP. Um, hmm. Um, wait. Oh, this is weird. I can't do GP here, right? Yeah. Okay, so instead of inputting GP, let's just do 48 divided by 2, which is 24. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Let's go here to the the draw and here. Um, uh, I don't know if it's here or later. Wait, I'm gonna gonna think. Okay, so we do a little bit of math here. Not math, but we gotta create a new method. So after, before the set default values, we're gonna create a public void move. Then we're gonna do, oh well, yeah, we gotta add the ball. I forgot about that. So before the paddles, we can add ball, ball. Yeah. Then um, I can do ball, you put a new ball. This. So. Let's do. We don't need this actually. We can do screen width divided by two. Wait, let me let me do something. Let's do this. Minus forty-eight tile size divided by two. This is twenty-four because that's what we put for the width and height. Then let's do um oh no, wait no we have to put this around. Tile size of it, but yeah. Then we can do random dot next int uh, screen height. Um, wait, screen height. We don't have a random. So we go over here, system. No. Where can I put this? I'm gonna do it in system. No, variables. Random, random. And here. Then we Hmm. Screen height. Random dot. Oh! Random is equal to new random. Yeah, we need to put this. And then screen height. Um. 
Wait, I'm going to double check this. Oh, so in the ball class, you can remove the game panel from the end. And you can go to the game panel. And so, I have found a solution. So wait, let me. So, ball is equal to new ball. And then we get the screen height width divided by 2. Then we minus the tile size minus 4. Uh, divided by 4. Then we do random.next width, uh, screen width, minus tile size divided by 2, tile size divided by 2, tile size divided by 2. And then we need to draw the ball. So in the draw right here, we go to after the paddles, we do ball. Ball.draw. Um, let's check. Oh. Um. Hmm. How? No, but I'm sorry. Um, I think I forgot to. So, move. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, here we have to do ball. Dot move. And we can call this in the uh, uh run here. So after I'm gonna say after the the repaint. No, before the repaint. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, there. Yeah. It works. Each time you, you click, it goes in a random di direction. Um, but now we need to add the up and down collision. So, before this move, we are, are going to check collision. So now, we have to check for the collision. So we do public void check collision. And we do if ball dot y is smaller or equal to zero. We want a ball the set y direction minus ball dot y velocity. Yeah. We can copy if wall ball dot y is um, larger or equal to screen height minus tile size divided by two. Yeah, same thing. So now this is the balance up of the up and the leap. How then? Why didn't? It, oh yeah, I forgot to call this here. After the move in the run, if it hits up, wait, if it hits, wait, please. You just hit the floor. What? What's this? Hmm, weird. No, I don't think it's nothing. Hmm. No, yeah, what? Okay, that was weird. Yeah, but it's working. So. It's because I think it's supposed to be four here. Yeah. Yeah, it was that. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, okay. So yeah, up and down is working. But now we have to do the paddle. So here. If... Um, ball dot in intersects with paddle one. We are going to do this, and if this intersects with paddle two, we are going to do that. And we got to call a check collision. Okay, yeah. Oh, why? Oh, yeah. Because this doesn't extend rectangle, so let's make it extend rectangle. And here, um, after we make it extend rectangle, we have to, wait, we have to, yeah, instead of passing here, the X and Y, we don't need that, and we can do here, in this, this dot set GP, we can do super, 
x, y. Paddle width is gp dot tile size divided by two, gp dot tile size times two. Yeah, that's it. Why isn't, oh yeah. I think that's it. But we have, we do not have it and x here. So we have to do in x with in high height. Um, we also have to do int width, int height, and hmm. let's do int id. Then here in the super x y. Then we put width here. Then put height. Instead of having this gp, you, you can erase this. We do int id here, int id, int y velocity, int speed is equal to 10. Yeah, that's better. Then we can do, okay. Um, actually, we don't need the speed y velocity. And we don't need the, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that. We're already handling the, yeah, so this we can just do width and height. Just like that. Yeah, so here. There's going to be a bunch of errors. So here. So. We are doing int x and int height. So um, instead of doing this here. Yeah. We do this here. But this is only the x and y. So we do gp dot tile. We do tile size divided by two and then tile size times two. Then we can remove this. Should be it. Y. No. You can, in the paddle class, you can remove the game panel gp. Yeah. Hmm, weird. Int, 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 int. No, it is defined. Um. Oh, the ID. We don't need the ID. Yeah. Let's check. Oh. So input isn't working. Um, why is this? Hmm. Paddle a lot. So in the key handler. Oh, we can do public void set x direction. Int random x direction. Just like we did for the ball. Then we can do um paddle oh, what can we do here we can um okay so we can do so instead of and random we can just do x and y then um Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to do x is equal to x direction and y is equal to y direction. And then here, um, in this key handler class, we're doing paddle 1 and paddle 2, and we do not want this. So, instead of doing that, I can simply... Put this here. Paddle one. Remove the GP. Paddle two. Remove the JP and the curly. 
And you guys, in the key handler, you guys can remove the paddle one and paddle two. Like this, let's check. Nope, oh, error. Down here. Where's the error? I don't see it. No, oh, here, up inside the update. Oh. If paddle1.x, yeah, we can change this to this. Then, if paddle one dot, if paddle two, paddle two dot x. Yeah, then we do. Hmm, weird. No, it's it's paddle one here. Sorry, paddle one, paddle one, paddle two. And this is why. Paddle two dot y y y and y yeah let's check here yeah. yeah so we got key input again yeah so everything's working and yeah. Um, I don't think we need these actually. Yeah. So now we can do the collision with the paddle. So here, if ball um intersects with paddle one, we can do ball dot x velocity is equal to math dot abs. Hmm, ball dot x velocity. Yeah, right there. Then ball dot e dot x velocity plus plus no I don't want this actually. Then if ball dot y velocity is bigger than zero, ball dot y. No, I also don't want this. We can leave this empty. Um. Okay. Then else ball dot y velocity minus minus then here we can do ball dot set x direction to ball dot x to x velocity yeah i think we can do these for both y and y okay you can copy this put it to paddle two um then we do ball okay Plus plus no minus 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 here. Um hmm, let's check. Where's the ball? Okay there. Yeah, there. So we do have ball collision and yeah, there, it's happening. So yeah um we're gonna work on the score later so yeah Okay, so I found the bug. Um, here. Um, so these are all normal, but it's green with divided by two minus uh, tab size divided by four. Then we do random dot next width, screen width minus tile size divided by two. Then we do tile size divided by two, and then tile size times two. I forgot about the times. I only did two divided, so it should be fixed. Yeah, it works now. Every time a launch it. Yeah, okay. Um, 
So now, yeah, um, my microphone was off. So this is basically a little bug fix. This helps with the animation. And now we're gonna add the, when you score. So we're gonna um, create a new class and we're gonna call it score. So here, let's create a new class, score. And inside the score, we're gonna add two things. We're gonna add, um, we're gonna add, um, what is, I can do, so we're gonna add game, pa game panel GP, public score game panel GP, then we're gonna do this, that GP is equal to GP. Yeah, that's it for the constructor. Then we create two more variables, int player one, int player two. Then here we can draw the public void draw graphics 2D G2. So here we can draw this text score. And score extends, extends rectangle. Right here. AWT. Then we can do g2 dot set color color dot white. Um, wait, let me move the microphone closer. Yeah, import Java dot awt. Then g2 dot set um font. I am going to use Arial. No wait, new font. So import java.awt Arial. Then we we want to make it font dot plain. So there's no bold, no italic, no special effects. And I want to make it the size of it sixty. Then we want to draw a line in the coordinates of gp dot screen width divided by two zero and. No, I actually, I don't need this. Yeah, I don't need the line because we're already doing the dotted line. So we do g2 dot dot string. We do, oh no, we do string, string dot value of player one divided by 10 plus string dot value of player one percentage 10 then we do we can do um, screen width divided by 2 minus 85 and 50 yeah I think this is good oh yeah GP I forgot about the GP yeah um so here we do player 2 divided by 10 plus 2 then here we do 2 plus 20. We do plus 20. <clears throat> and, um, oh. Okay, then we need to call this. Um, I don't know where I should put it in the, in the draw method. I think I am going to put it in the, um, in the last one. So here. Score. Score dot. Oh, I forgot to add score here. I forgot. So, score, score. Then here, in the set default values, score is equal to new score. And we have to pass this here. Then we can do score dot draw g2. Oh, um, let's check. Yeah, zero, zero. Let me, let me like purposely die. Oh, okay. Um, then now we need to create the, so here, instead of putting the ball here, we wanna, 
do this in a separate method called public void new ball right then we do this and we also add the random there instead of doing this we can just do new ball like that um and then now we got to check the collision to see if everything is um like you know working so here in the check collision where's check collision yeah over here we do if ball x is uh smaller or equal to zero we want to score the player two plus plus a new pat no we don't need a new paddles new ball and yeah i think that's it then we can do this I think we can do new paddles actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do new paddles. New paddles. Cause then we can reset the position. Public void new paddles. Like this. And um Yeah. Then we can do here. New paddles. And new ball. Let's copy this here. So if ball X is larger or equal to um, screen width minus GP dot tile size divided by two. Oh no, we don't need the GP. Then we score that player one is plus plus and new paddles, new ball. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so let's check. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, what? Wait. There. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there. Okay. Let's... Yeah, so everything is working. So, um, the collision is a little bit funky when it intersects with the paddle one. And it might be because the... Um, because the rectangle is larger than the... So let's do... Um, we need to do... Oh, no. No, I, th I think it's fine, though. But... Yeah, no, it's fine. So, yeah, and this is how you make a Pong game in Java. And, yeah. Um, thank you for watching the series. And... Yeah, thank you. And, bye-bye.